Yo. In this video, we're going to start off with labeling some of the things that you'll need. First up, we have the VR Labs Avatar 3.0 Manager. This is going to make uh, merging everything a lot easier. Next up, you're going to need Poyomi 8.1.155 or newer. This is my default sh shader that I use for everything. So if you're going to install any of my packages, make sure you always have an 8.1.155 or newer. So 8.2 works anything past 8.1.155 works. Um, lastly, it's always good to have the gesture manager. Uh, it's a asset pack um, provided by the VCC creator companion, whatever crap. So once you have those set up on your um, project, we can go ahead and get started. Now to import the package, we're going to go ahead and go to assets. Next up, import package, custom package, and then select the package and then hit import. If you're not sure how I did that, assets, import package, custom package. If you're having difficulty finding it, click on downloads, it'll be in there. Okay. Next up, uh, you're going to locate the folder, which will be in Meccano Assets uh, Crown. And here's the prefab. Next up, you're going to drag and drop the prefab onto your avatar. Okay, so you click, drag, drop on your avatar. Now, of course, yours won't be looking like this. Uh, what you're going to need to do Unpack the prefab. So right click the crown, select unpack, and the boxes will turn a like white transparent. Now you're going to locate your head of your avatar, which will be your armature, hips, spine, chest, neck, head. Okay. And drag and dra drop the uh, crown bone onto your head. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and zero all this out. Set it one, one, one. Okay. As you can see, it's huge, not placed right. Okay. For this, you're going to go ahead and size the crown, whatever is appropriate with your avatar. And of course, it's going to be in reference to your avatar. Okay. So point one should look roughly like this. It'll probably be inside your head. Okay. And I'm doing all this from the crown bone. Again, this is while the crown bone is selected, not your head, not the crown, but the crown bone. Okay. And then with your move tool selected, you can drag up, click on the green arrow and drag it up. Okay. You can have it as high as you want, as low as you want, whatever it is. Okay. Uh, another way you can do your scaling, if you want to be precise based on the formation of your head you can click on the scale tool click and drag the gray box okay whatever you like I like point one works for me you can do it however you please it's totally up to you next up with the crown bone selected we're gonna click on this red arrow okay and we're gonna drag it to the left some I'm gonna actually position this a little bit lower there we go. Okay, and just set it to the position how you like. Preferably on the right side because the animation that I have set up for the crown looks nicer when it's on the right side, all right? Next up, we're going to click the rotate tool and tilt it a little bit with the blue axes, okay? When you mouse over the blue axes, it will turn yellow. Yeah, I don't care. Um and it will set up right. If you click the white arrow, it'll go all weird. You see that it's all sorts of directions. If that happens, just hold control, hit Z. It'll undo it. And then do it as many times as you like. Whatever looks good for you. Again, this is just your preference. Whatever you, the way you like it on your avatar, that's what matters, all right? Now, next up, we're going to head and go ahead and save this. And now we get into the fun part. Okay. Real nice and easy guys. Doesn't get easier than this with VR labs tab at the top. 
you'll notice my green little mouse button okay up here click on VR lab avatar 3.0 manager drag and drop your avatar okay see this avatar section right here you'll know it's your avatar because if you collapse this it'll show just your avatar right here right whatever has your VRC descriptor when you click on it that's what matters go down to your FX layer you can see I have the oh did I not reset this no I didn't let me go ahead and delete this bam 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 refresh FX okay there we go as you can see I have no parameters no layers no nothing blank okay so again FX we're gonna click add animator to merge and then it's going to ask what animator or yeah what animator or FX are you going to merge onto your avatar so you're gonna click on this little target button right here type in crown and it will show you the crown controller you'll see these five parameter or five layers right here we're gonna merge onto current and bam here they are okay has a nice little crown at the top and then it has four additional layers underneath this controls the toggle the breathing effect which breathing is the outline the crown animation which is the bounce effect which you'll see later on and the hue shift is of course the hue shift next up we're going to click on the three lines and three dots so over on the left this is your expressions the gray box with the two greens uh lines we're going to go to parameters and these are the parameters that are currently on your avatar so as you can see mine aren't being used anywhere it doesn't really matter you're going to go down to copy parameters parameters to copy we're going to click on this little uh target button right here and then we're going to type in crown so now you're going to see the crown params okay we're going to go ahead and copy those over so now we have all our parameters set up so when we click on our avatar click on the params right here you're gonna see that they're all right here you don't have to do that I'm just showing you so what we do have to do now is add the crown menu to your avatar we've merged the FX we've merged the params now we just need to do the menu and you're set so click on your avatar so you have your VRC avatar descriptor we're gonna scroll down you're gonna see playable layers lower body expressions and here's the menu okay click on your menu and it's gonna highlight the menu item in your project window okay if you're not sure where your project window is I'll give you a second look around you're gonna see a box with the uh, orange brackets right going to highlight when you click on your video uh vi well not video menu whatever your menu is it's going to highlight okay we're going to click on this and then we're going to go to the inspector window it's going to say active avatar Mathano updated for me it's going to say whatever your avatar is we're going to go to the controls hit add control we're going to give this a name which is going to be the for me i like to use crown feel free to label it whatever you like next up we're going to change the type from button to sub menu after you saw the sub menu click on the target and now we're going to type in crown and it's going to come up with the crown menu okay once you've done that it's good to go it's all set up we're gonna go ahead and save this project and we're going to test it now to test this you're going to need the gesture manager say i don't have mine in my little scene or whatever to add it go to tools gesture manager em emulator if you do not see gesture manager you're going to have to open your little project thing right manage projects and you're going to see gesture managers right here mine actually needs to be updated I need to update a bunch of packages it doesn't really matter but 
that's how you add it and once you click the add on there it will update your project add it on go to tools gesture manager good to go okay now i'm gonna go ahead and save again you save as many times as you can because unity loves to crash okay we're gonna hit this little play button up here give it a second to not throw a fit oh, imagine if it crashed it would be so perfect okay you can see that the avatar is not really doing anything that's because you need to select the gesture manager once you do that it'll go into your playables it'll use all the defaults and stuff like that now to test it go to your expressions and you're going to see the crown sub menu right here okay we're going to select that test the toggle test the outline bam as you can see the outline stops breathing so to say when you toggle it off and if you don't like it bouncing up and down just turn it off good to go it'll just float with you of course this comes with fizz bones so you can grab it you can smack it you can do whatever you want as your avatar is moving around it'll bounce it's all set up now next up um i'm going to leave mine in play mode so you can see it and i can demo it but feel free to exit play mode if you want next up i'm going to show you all the other materials that the crown actually comes with so this this uh asset or this package actually comes with four different materials to locate the materials go to your asset folder Makano asset next up you're going to go to crown and in the texture folder you're going to see four folders okay black crown blood crown gold crown meaty crown i'm going to save the best for last uh so first up we're going to go with black crown i really like this this one it's really good for just a flat um casual use it's looks sick as hell if you ask me um it kind of follows the theme of halloween and everything like that but it honestly it's just badass for general use so as you can see it has like this little shadowy texture like effect on it i love it uh of course all these materials come with uh your uh, Poyomi has emissions and stuff like that so it glows comes out it really pops you know what I mean and of course the hue shift actually works for all of them except for the black crown and the reason why the black crown is the way it is is because I wanted to leave it as black and white um, if you guys want me to update the texture to maybe change the variety of the white shadow so to say I'll, I'll just leave a couple comments down below if i see it's really popular i'll open it up and i'll add it for you guys um next up we're gonna go ahead and go to the blood crown and then to add that of course go into the folder drag and drop the blood crown onto the crown and so here's the default blood crown okay um just to show off the hue you can see you can change it to whatever you like it does not have to be blood of course if you like say you like purple you can have it as purple if you want it to be green it could be green it could be whatever you guys like okay this is yours to use however you like except do not sell the individual package of course the mca crap um textures where gold is the default one that i just showed as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and set the you shift to zero and this by far is my favorite material it is grotesque it is pure halloween theme it is so good this material will actually only be available for the next four weeks from release so starting october 24th all the way until like the 14th of november this material will be available after that it's going to have four different ones okay and if you want the updated material for the crown after it say you purchased it today or tomorrow or whatever when the meaty crown is available if you want the new material 
all you'll have to do is go to the Gumroad and download it, import it. It'll pull over the folder. It's really simple. Okay. So if you purchase it within the next four weeks, you'll have all five textures, but for those that purchase after you'll only have the four. Okay. You won't have this beauty right here. So I'm going to go into meaty crown. <laughs> By the way, I stare at hates this one. So good. Burnt flesh worms. Oh my God. It's so perfect. This is perfect. It's so Halloween themed. If it's a little too gory for you and you still want to use the Halloween theme, of course you can hue shift it. It'll like, it's, it's crazy how like, oh, that's, that's bile. Right. You change it to blue though. Now it's a different type of like it's alien or whatever. You know what I mean? So again, the meaty crown is only going to be available for the next four weeks. I hope you guys enjoy. It's been a pleasure. If you guys have any questions, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. If you did the materials in the play mode, once you exit, it'll reset back to, of course, add it, just drag and drop the material onto it and go ahead and upload. Anyways, guys. If you need to reach out again, comment down below, uh, or discord again, my handle on discord is Makano Yasha, same as my handle on YouTube. I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.